All right, so in this problem, I have four to the power of x is equal to 12. So to solve this, I'm gonna first take the log on both sides. So I have log four to the power of x is equal to log 12. And if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can move this exponent b to the front. So this is gonna equal b times log a. So in this case, I have log four to the power of x and I can move x to the front. So now I have x times log four is equal to log 12. Now, if I divide both sides by log four, these two cancel out and I get x is equal to log 12 over log four. Now, I can rewrite log 12 as log of four times three. So I have log of four times three over log of four. And if I have something in the form log of a times b, this is equal to log a plus log b. So log four times three, that's gonna equal log four plus log three, and I have this over log four. So now this is the same thing as log four over log four plus log three over log four. Now log four and log four, these two cancel out. So now I get x is equal to one plus log three over log four. And log four, that's the same thing as two squared. So I get one plus log three over log of two squared. And remember I can move this two to the front. So now I have log three over two log two. And this is the same thing as one plus 0 0.7925, which is equal to 1.7925. All right, so in this problem, I have two to the power of x is equal to five to the power of x plus two. So to start, if I have something in the form a to the power of m plus n, this is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So, five to the power of x plus two. I can rewrite this as five to the power of x times five to the power of two. Now, if I divide both sides by five to the power of x, these two cancel out and I get two to the power of x over five to the power of x is equal to five squared. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m over b to the power of m, this is equal to a over b to the power of m. So two to the power of x over five to the power of x, this is gonna be two over five to the power of x, which is equal mm -hmm. to five squared. Now I'm gonna take the log on both sides. So I get log two over five to the power of x is equal to log five squared. And if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can move this x one and b to the front. So this gives b times log a. So for log two over five to the power of x, I can move x to the front and now I'm gonna have x times log two over five is equal to log of five squared. Now I'm gonna divide both sides by log two over five. These two cancel out. So now I get x is equal to log of five squared over log of two over five. Now I can move this x one and two to the front. So now I get x is equal to two times log five over log of two over five. And if I have something in the form log 
a over b, this is equal to log a minus log b. So this is equal to 2 times log 5 over log 2 minus log 5. All right, so in this problem, I have 9 to the power of x is equal to 36. So to solve this, I'm going to first start by taking the log on both sides. So now I have log of 9 to the power of x is equal to log of 36. And if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can move this exponent b to the front. So now I have b times log a. So log 9 to the power of x, you move x to the front. So now I have x times log 9 is equal to log 36. Now, I'm going to go ahead and divide both sides by log of 9. So then these two cancel out. Now I get x is equal to log 36 over log 9. So 36, I can rewrite as log of 9 times 4. So I have log of 9 times 4 over log 9. Now this is the same thing as if I have something in the form log of a times b, this is equal to log a plus log b. So log of 9 times 4, that's going to equal log of 9 plus log of 4. Now I have this over log of 9. And this is equal to log 9 over log 9 plus log 4 over log 9. So then these two cancel out, and now I have x is equal to 1 plus log 4 over log 9. So now I can rewrite log 4 as log of 2 squared, and I can rewrite log 9 as log of 3 squared. And remember, if I have something in the form log of a to the power of b, you move this exponent b to the front, so this can equal b times log a. So now I can move 2 to the front for this and 2 to the front for this. So now I have x is equal to 1 plus 2 log 2 over 2 log 3. If I cancel these two out, I get x is equal to log 2 over log 3. 